And what I have here are the pieces to the old Technic bulldozer. There were two versions, the European version and US version. Now the numbers were 856 and 951. This is the 856 version with the instructions. Um, I find that a lot of times people would do stuff like this. They cut the pages off so they could see the number. I don't like that that happened uh, because these covers all look the same to a lot of the um, old Technic sets. They just have a, some ideas and some information before you actually got to the actual set. That's not the set. That's not the set. That's the set. 856. And I'm going to build it now. All right, here's the old Technic bulldozer. You turn these levers in the back and you can lower it. One lifts it up and down. And this controls the bucket or the scoop. Do it backwards and forwards. And let it down. Do it up. It's fairly simple, uh, but at the time, Something I really like. Oops, came apart. Let's see if it'll work better now. Hopefully, if I turn it the right way. There's really not a lot of details on this. You got the headlights there. They're just a couple of one by two plates. The grill. I like the treads. There's no motor that's really designed into it. And then back here you got the tail light. You got a little light on top. And these are the levers to control the lifting of the bucket. But that's the old bulldozer. It's at 856 or 951. Alright, here's a comic book I have. This is, what is this? Moon Knight. It's from 1980. And on the back of these comics a lot in the very late 70s, early 80s, they'd have these Lego Technic ads in the back. And this one has the bulldozer right here. So that's a pretty cool set. That's all those early Technic sets. The farm tractor, the forklift, the accessory kit here, which I actually have the pieces for the accessory for the battery and the old motor. And the instruction books for the bulldozer actually show you how you can attach the motor to it. So I'm going to do that here in a little bit, but some people, you'll see they'll be selling these ads. I don't know if they're selling the whole comic book or if they tear the ad off the back of the comic book, but I like these old Technic ads. I like these old Technic sets as well. They're very simple compared to the modern ones, and I know people probably don't like them today. It looks probably boring to the kids of, the day, of today, but... That's the early Technic, the first Technic sets. Everybody wanted that car. Remember my neighbor, he had the auto chassis? 
and I was very jealous, but um, you can get it pretty cheap. It's not real expensive now. It doesn't go up in value like some of the modern sets do. Um, probably $100 or less, usually, depending on if you have the box. Okay, I've wired a four and a half volt motor to the bulldozer here. Uh, when you do this, you have to add, add a couple of chain links, I believe. At least I did uh, to get this thing to work. So anyway, and I've jury rigged this to my power supply because I don't have any C batteries right now. So I can um, hook it up to here, and I can reverse the polarity that way to test it for this couple of things I noticed about the bulldozer. Uh, since I bought this used, some of the pieces were worn. I try to replace a few of them. But these little connectors right here, if, um, they break real easy. They'll have little cracks in them, so I replaced most of them that were cracked. And then also your axles, if the axle is chewed on, it won't stick real good in here and they'll fall apart real easy. That's why I was having some problems falling apart. So I replaced some of the axles that had been chewed up. Don't use your teeth to separate Lego. But anyway, that's uh, a couple of things that I noticed. This, even though this is a simple build, this thing doesn't look like it holds together real well. It could be just that I have a lot of used bricks here. but. That's the bulldozer.